Hi everyone, uh, this video is just to give you a quick overview of the Eat Analyzer tool in UCS. So the Eat Analyzer tool is essentially a packet capture tool. Um, it's not specific to UA UCS, it's uh, available on all NXOS platforms. Um, obviously UCS itself, is, the underlying uh, platform is, is Nexus NXOS software. So it's available in UCS also. A um, couple of good articles that will, uh, so what I'm gonna show you here is just a basic overview of how to do a packet capture. Um, but you, it's a couple of good articles here. We'll include these links in the video description. Um, so here to Cisco on the Cisco forum and on the Cisco article, it's articles itself. Goes into more detail on Eat Analyzer tool, what it is, the different kind of um, filters, um, captures that you can run, etc. And here we have another one specifying across the, more, it gives a bit more detail specifying across the 3K, 5K, and 7K platforms. But as mentioned, um, this can also be run in UCS. So just to run it, what I've done here is I have SSH into my fabric interconnect. Um, this is a, a clustered pair, so I have SSH to the, the UCS um, cluster IP and brings me into the primary FI, which is FIA in this case. Let me just open the screen here a bit. Um, so when you're on this, now you can also uh, if you, you can also um, SSH to the individual FI IPs as well because this command is actually run individually on each FI. So now that I've gone to the cluster IP here, I'm going to have to connect to the NXOS uh, platform of each um, FI separately to run it. Um, so to do that, you just do your connect NXOS. As you can see here, you can specify if you want to go to FIA or FIB. Um, or if you just don't put any specification, just do connect NXOS. It's going to connect to the NXOS of the primary FI. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to, I'll just do connect NXOS. Once you're in the NXOS uh, mode, you can run uh, the Eat Analyzer. So you just do Eat Analyzer. Um, obviously, as you go along, you can use the question mark. It'll give you the, the prompts. Okay. Interface. Um, so also just to specify that this um, this tool is only used for capturing control plane traffic, so not data plane traffic. Um, if I go here to one of the articles mentioned, you can see it gives a description of kind of the three interfaces that you can um, capture traffic on. So you have your management interface uh, for management traffic. Obviously you have your inbound low, which is for low priority traffic, ping, telnet, secure shell, CPU bound traffic, and inbound high um, is for high priority, spanning tree protocol, BPDUs, um, et cetera, CPU bound traffic. So just for control plane traffic, you will actually, there is actually, actually in this article, the other article I've shown, it does talk further down about using access lists, um, etc. Um, so you can actually use access access lists. You can use. I don't believe you can do access lists in UCS, but in the the other Nexus uh, devices like 3Ks, 5Ks, you can actually use access lists if you wanted to try and capture a particular tra tra traffic, because this traffic obviously would be sent to the CPU for uh, to, to check the criteria, if it matches the required criteria, etc., um, and and then that way you can capture data traffic that way. If if, if you uh, send it through access lists, and uh, we won't be doing that on on this video. So back to here, eat on a lo local interface. Um, do a question mark. It'll give you those three interfaces you can choose. And um, we're going to do management in this case. Here, a number of different things, but we're just going to you. We're going to limit the number of limit captured frames. So basically, you can specify how many frames you want to capture. 
um, as you can see here, you could, there's a, a quite a large range. Where in in, our, in this case, we're just going to say 50. We we'll just capture 50 frames. Just uh, just as this is in a video for an example. Different things you can uh, output it, pipe it uh, to to a different location, or you can write to a location. We're going to write in this case. In this case, um, we're going to write it to the volatile memory. We call it packet test pcap. And just press return then. All good. Um, so if we exit back out of here to the main menu, we do connect local management. And we will do ls volatile and here you can see my my packet the, the file that i created with the captured data um, you can then you can uh, send this to uh I'll get this off the device using a uh, ftp sftp tftp so i don't actually have a an ftp or any kind of a server set up that I can access at the moment, but I'll just run the command to give you an example anyway of how to um, copy this off. So you just do, anyway, if you're in here, it'll show you the, you do your question mark, it'll show you the different commands you can start with. So we're gonna do copy. Check, I have caps lock on, that makes a difference. Um, so just gonna do copy, volatile, S2. here and we will do let's just say FTP I will just say username at which we'll say one dot one dot one dot we'll just make up an IP just as I said I don't have an actual FTP server here that I can access at the moment um, just give it the pass fake and obviously that would copy the file down if I had a FTP server that, that I could set up but I, as I said I don't have access but that's just an example um, another thing you can do actually um, so once you have that file copied down you can open it in Wireshark to we'll run it through Wireshark with all the different filtering etc um, Another thing you can do if you don't have Wireshark, you don't want to use Wireshark maybe. Um, this is a bit more, gives a bit more, it can be a bit harder to read, but it, it still works, is you connect your NXOS again. And let's just do Eat Analyzer, Local Interface Management. And let's just do detail and so it should allow me to limit captured frames oh no it doesn't oh geez let's just see if i can the limit command comes up here frames 10 I press let's do detail yes so that's how do it do your eat analyzer local interface management limit captured frames detail that outputs to the screen I believe you can possibly do no more here as well to stop having to press more if you wish so let's just try that Yes, so I went down, capture 10 frames, I'll put them to the screen. Of course, if you want to, you can, um, I'll put that to a file using putty here. So I'll just change the putty um, logging commands to, I'll put it to a file. I'll just put it on the desktop here. Um, P 
pc.txt. <laughs> Now let's run that command again. And we should have our file here somewhere. As you see it's captured everything. Um, not as nice to go through um, if you've just kept it as a packet capture and opened it in Wireshark, but as I said, maybe that's not something that's available to you. But you can go through it this way also. So yeah, that was just a quick overview. Um, as I said, we put these two article links in the video description. They go into a lot more detail on all the different um, commands you can use, filtering the information you capture, etc. Um, to be honest, I often just uh, don't filter the information I, I capture. I'll just do the normal capture like we did there and use the Wireshark to do all my filtering through. Um, one example of what, where I found this tool quite useful is where we had a customer who was seeing a lot of failed logins showing up on the log files in the UCS. Um, and I believe it changed in later versions of, of Nexus software that the, the IP of the device that was failing to log in doesn't appear anymore on the log files. You just get a, the time of, of, of a device that had a login failure. And we were trying to figure out what the device was, so we did run the heat analyzer on the, the management interface, um, and we were able to, to track down the IP and discover where that, that, that problem might be. And once we had the IP, we were able, the customer was able to determine where in his network it was um, and tracked it down to a, a monitoring device, an old monitoring device that was still running. They had changed the Login um, using the change it used started using LDAP etc. But they had forgotten about this management device um, and hadn't set up the correct configuration for this. Man it wasn't needed anymore to manage the device, but they had forgotten to set up any the configuration required for this management device to config, config, continue logging in on the new um, conditions. So that's one example of how I use the Eat Analyzer tool. Um, but like I said, with these two articles, you'll have pretty much as much information as, 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 as you can need to get started with on uh, all the different permutations permita of how you can run the tool. So that's it. I hope this uh, video was helpful. And thank you for watching.